So hi everybody, it's uh, just Jay here. My hashtag is Broken Body Builder. I have not been around for a couple of weeks. I've not had a good time. And um, anybody that knows me knows that PTSD is very up and down and it is what it is. So it's been sleep deprivation, it's been triggering, it's been all sorts of things. But I'll talk about that in another video. I was, however, last week, um, very, very honoured to be included in the Metro Online's Strong Woman series. So please go and have a look at it. And don't just look at my article because this is all about strong women. So it was an honour to be included in it, but I have to say that I've read about some incredible ladies in there too. So I'm going to say hi to one of them. Caroline, you know who you are, Iron Ostomy. So it's a great series, so have a really good look at it. With a view to that, I had a few comments afterwards. There were some pictures of me doing a photo shoot, there was pictures of me doing the video for hernia prevention, and there were my old bodybuilding photos when I was in competitive shape. And it was almost like a couple of people made comments. I mean, most people were really positive, but a couple of people made comments like, you know, it was almost like I'm not an ordinary person. Um, you know, because there was competitive bodybuilding and then because there was me sort of, well, if you look at that video on hernia prevention, uh, believe me, I've got a bit of a tubby middle. You know, I was 60 when I made that. So um, I am a very ordinary person that just happens to have pushed myself in, in a few areas of life. But I'm going to talk today about one thing in particular, and that is weight loss. And there's no body shaming in any of my videos, okay? I talk about what I talk about for health reasons only. Back onto hernia prevention, which everybody knows I'm really, really hot on. I'm going to do something today that's probably going to make me cringe, given that I used to have a washboard stomach. But I think it's really important. So one of the reasons I advocate losing weight slowly and carefully is because we only have so much collagen in our skin it doesn't just bounce back that's why ladies get stretch marks when they are post-pregnancy sometimes so you really don't want to be losing weight quickly now so far since I started my journey in getting back into shape I put on quite a lot of weight last year and the year before so I've lost four pounds okay now being nearly 62 I haven't got the collagen I had when I was 25 so I'm going to cringe a bit when I do this because it is what it is and I've got a bit of like a bum on my tongue at the moment but I'm going to just show you something. Okay, I'm going to grab hold of that and you can see actually there's a mix of loose skin and body fat there. Okay, and it doesn't look awful when I'm undressed. You know, it is what it is but it's not nice. So that's what happens as you lose weight. When you've got a kind of transverse scar there, you'll find a lot of women who've had cesareans, they'll moan about this because your kind of belly will hang over the scar tissue. I'm going to try my very best in the next six weeks to lose weight slowly. I only want to lose about half a stone. I'm quite happy to put on some muscle as I go. But I'm going to try and show you how to lose weight in a controlled and healthy manner that will give you the best chance of letting that skin shrink back in. So we'll talk next time. Bye for now.